April 18, 1775, some 700 British soldiers were sent to the small town of Concord to capture weapons held by colonial militia. Several dozen armed militiamen were waiting in the town of Lexington on the road to Concord. The British ordered them to leave, but a shot suddenly rang out. Both sides began firing. The battle was brief, but left eight colonists dead and ten more wounded. News of the British march spread to many nearby towns. Hundreds of angry militiamen gathered and fought the British at Concord and as they returned to Boston. The rebels used the surrounding woodland as cover and fired at the British from all sides. When the British finally reached Boston, nearly 250 soldiers were dead, wounded or missing. Any hope of peacefully resolving the conflict between Britain and the colonies had vanished in a cloud of smoke. Representatives from the colonies gathered in Philadelphia in a meeting called the Second Continental Congress. They voted to create an army to fight the British. George Washington was named the army's commander-in-chief. Despite the fighting, few colonists openly called for independence. Only one-third of the colonists were for the rebellion, another third were against it, and the remaining third were indifferent. But public opinion began to shift, helped in part by a pamphlet written by an Englishman named Thomas Paine. In common sense, Paine wrote that Britain's king had no right to rule America, and he urged the colonists to declare independence. Paine's powerful words persuaded many colonists to support independence. In June 1776, Congress named a five-man committee to draft a Declaration of Independence, outlining the reasons for separating from Britain. Thomas Jefferson wrote the draft, which eloquently set forth the position of the American revolutionaries.